Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get my next guest out. What can I say? In a career spanning 55 years, she's been a fashion icon and a sex symbol. Will you please welcome the irrepressible Dame Edna Everidge? <laughs> Hello, Jonathan, darling. Come and Please. take a seat. Look Please how splendid. Please sit down. Wow. And isn't it sad that that wonderful reception was really engineered because there's a person called a warm-up, isn't there? <laughs> and he tells them to overreact. <laughs> but it's lovely to be here at London Weekend Television. That's what it used to be called. When you had your show here, of course, you dominated this place. My show was groundbreaking, yeah, Jonathan. It was marvellous. And I'm feeling so happy to be here well, on it's your so, show. Well, it's so... We're happy you're and back your in your popularity... <laughs> your popularity is... hard to believe, yeah. really, but it is... It's deserved, Jonathan, it is, it's well, deserved. thank you, from you that means so much. He's a nice person. I'm... <laughs> he wears a tie, isn't that a refreshing thing? Thank you. A man with a tie. You like that? My husband was buried with a tie. Really? <laughs> Very little else but a tie. <laughs> it's so lovely to have you back in the country. Uh, where do you stay when you're in the UK? Do you have a place over here or do you, do you rent? What do you do? I have a friend. Uh -huh. A lovely woman, elderly. I can't say who it is. She occasionally wears a crown. <laughs> and she lives in a quite a comfortable, <laughs> detached home <laughs> in the Mall. And if you stand opposite Buckingham Palace and look to the right, you'll see a little window. And if you have binoculars, <laughs> you'll be in that window. And there's a mug with a toothbrush in it. And that is my toilet. <laughs> well, and I, I've got a key. I've got my own shelf in her fridge. I'm very, very comfortable there. And I'm not meant to say any of this. No, no, no. But you're so persuasive. <laughs> hey, uh, Dame Edna's currently on tour, ladies and gentlemen. And the new show, uh, the current show... You don't have to plug my show, Jonathan. You really don't. I would like to. I want people to see you live, because in the flesh... Ma, in the flesh, you're seeing me, viewers, on television. I'm lovely. <laughs> but on stage, Funny. in my own stage show, at the Palladium yeah. Theatre, <laughs> I'm something else. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and it's quite interesting, because this is a it's, a... it's a new stage in your life. You've sort of turned your back on celebrity culture, it seems. <sighs> celebrity culture? Look at celebrities. Who are they? Tomorrow's non-entities, really. I've never been a celebrity. I'm a, a legend, an icon, if you will. <laughs> but not a celebrity. I think it's almost an insult really? to be called a celebrity. It wasn't intended. I've never heard you called a celebrity. haven't. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. Uh, you've become more spiritual, though. You seem to have, you seem to have blossomed. I am. I... I w went to an ashram. I was putting on weight. I put it back on, actually. <laughs> but I did go. I was very worried. I was a little bit depressed, too. Oh, really? And I was eating, overeating. I was, as a matter of fact, I was eating pasta, a lot of pasta, in bed. <laughs> eating pasta in bed. I'd have, well, I'd have knocky about five times a night. <laughs> and, you know, people at home will understand what I'm saying. And, uh, you always got to think of the viewer. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I went to an ashram in India. Do you know what an ashram is? I think so. It's like a, a place of uh, spiritual growth and worship. Yes, is it is. Right? It's like a, a school almost. It's like a caravan park for the soul. And I went to this ashram in India. And uh, I met a person there. I met a, a, a young man. Wow. A new, a new romance? He yes. looked after me beautifully. He gave me lovely massages. I can feel his little fingers. This is Waham, is that Waham? Waham. Which is Balinese oh. for Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Waham. 
And I'd like you to meet him. Where is he? Where's Wahan? There's Wahan. Oh, bring me a glass of water, will you, Wahan? Look, isn't he adorable, well, he's Parsons? A, he's a he's younger lovely. man than, than I thought I would see you with. I'm a bit honest. of a cougar. <laughs> well, here's Wahan. Thank okay. You. okay. Okay. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it's, it's a smoothie. It's a love. Isn't he adorable? He's lovely. What a lovely young man. You can go back now, go, go. Please. <laughs> duduk, duduk. <laughs> you see, I have... Be I... Be <laughs> Did you hear me? I've become fluent with his tongue. Wow. I have. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, let me ask you about your children, though, before we... Oh, I thought the interview was over. No, it's not over. <laughs> Because I, I, I know Kenny. Does Kenny still design your fabulous outfits, your son Kenny? He does. Kenny, my son. He's a wonderful boy. He's the Vivian Westwood of Australia. He's a star. He designed this lovely frock and many other things of mine. My other children have been a bit of a disappointment, really? Jonathan. <laughs> And that's not amusing, I'm afraid. Well, there's your, there's your daughter, is it Val May? Val May. Shoplifting was her downfall. She, <laughs> she was born with the gift of the grab. <laughs> and she was always looking for the five-finger discount. <laughs> you know, when I started becoming successful, as you will find when you... <laughs> I learned something. Put your family last. <laughs> Don't let them. Yeah. Don't let them inhibit you. Yeah. Sometimes it's better for us to neglect them. <laughs> and uh, I've always put my career first. Well, not that I call it a career, really. I don't call this a show. <laughs> uh, it's so lovely to see you here again. And really, if you've never had the experience and you've enjoyed a little bit this evening, oh, to see Dame Edna me live, you have to go you and see Dame Edna. say it, I'll say it. I, I'm... <laughs> come and see me at the Palladium, Possums, because I've saved my best self for that event. Now, we've got to wind this into your outside. <laughs> okay, you and know... by the way, this is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Well, oh, poor Wahab, it's like you're kicking the poor fella uh, sort of virtually he's here. He's fine. He takes it because he's lucky to be living in England at the moment. But <laughs> I just want to thank you all at home and in the studio for having me at your place tonight and my special guest, Jonathan Ross! That's the way to go. <laughs> Don't know your average, ladies and gentlemen. We have the bloody old life right here. We are. Uh, this is this is for you, of oh, course. Lovely. Of course, not so beautifully wrapped. <laughs>